Imagine a world where rivers are redirected, mountains are moved, and entire ecosystems are reshaped by human hands. A world where deserts are turned into lush farmland, and oceans encroach onto barren land to form artificial islands. This is not the plot of a science fiction movie. This is happening today. Rising populations, resource scarcity, and climate change are forcing us to innovate. Urban expansion requires land where there isn't any, while changing weather patterns demand that we control water flow and protect cities from flooding. But these projects are not just practical. They're also symbolic of human ambition, the drive to conquer nature, to improve life, and sometimes to push boundaries simply because we can. The Three Gorges Dam, taming a mighty river. The Yangtze River, stretching over 6,300 kilometers, has shaped Chinese civilization for millennia. Its fertile plains supported ancient agriculture, while its waters served as crucial trade routes. But the river also earned a notorious reputation for destructive floods, with one in 1931 claiming the lives of over 3 million people, a staggering tragedy that remains one of the deadliest natural disasters in history. In 1994, China undertook a monumental challenge, building the Three Gorges Dam, a structure that would not only tame the river, but also symbolize the nation's rapid modernization. At a cost exceeding $30 billion, the dam is a marvel of human engineering. The structure holds back 39.3 billion cubic meters of water, equivalent to 15 million Olympic-sized swimming pools, creating a reservoir that stretches 600 kilometers. Its hydroelectric turbines generate 22,500 megawatts of power, making it the largest power plant of any kind. This output has significantly reduced China's reliance on coal, preventing millions of tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. However, the dam's construction was not without sacrifice. Over 1.3 million people were displaced from 13 cities, 140 towns, and over 1,300 villages, with some communities losing their ancestral lands. Historical sites like the Zhangfei Temple, relic of China's Three Kingdoms era, were submerged. Ecologists warn of disrupted habitats for species like the endangered Yangtze River Dolphin and Sturgeon. Additionally, the dam's weight has been linked to increased seismic activity in the region. The Three Gorges Dam showcases humanity's ability to harness nature on an unprecedented scale, but also serves as a stark reminder of the ethical dilemmas inherent in such projects. The Great Green Wall, stopping the desert in its tracks. The Sahara Desert expands at an alarming rate, encroaching on 10 million hectares of land every year. This process, known as desertification, has devastated farmland, displaced communities, and exacerbated food insecurity across Africa. In response, the African Union launched the Great Green Wall in 2007, a visionary project aiming to transform the lives of millions, stretching across 11 countries, from Senegal in the west to Djibouti in the east. The wall is a living monument to resilience. The goal is to restore 100 million hectares of degraded land, sequester 250 million tons of carbon, and create 10 million green jobs by 2030. In Senegal, local farmers have planted drought-resistant species like the acacia tree, which not only provides shade but also enriches the soil with nitrogen. In Ethiopia, hillside terraces and irrigation systems have reclaimed barren land, boosting crop yields. This project also empowers women, who are often on the front lines of farming, by providing training and resources to enhance productivity. Beyond its environmental impact, the Great Green Wall has become a cultural symbol of unity and hope. Festivals, educational campaigns, and youth programs have emerged alongside the project, fostering a sense of pride and purpose in participating communities. Despite challenges like funding gaps and political instability in some regions, the Great Green Wall remains a testament to how humanity can work with nature to create solutions. Dubai's Palm Islands – Building Land from the Sea The Palm Islands of Dubai epitomize luxury and ambition. Comprising Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali, and the yet-to-be-completed Palm Dera, these man-made islands were designed to boost Dubai's economy by attracting tourism and foreign investment. Construction began in 2001 with the creation of Palm Jumeirah, a 5.72 square kilometer island shaped like a palm tree. To build it, 94 million cubic meters of sand were dredged from the seabed, along with 7 million tons of rock to form its protective breakwater. 
The project used GPS technology to ensure precise placement, showcasing the intersection of cutting-edge engineering and design. Today, Palm Jumeirah houses luxury hotels like the Atlantis The Palm, private villas, shopping centers, and even a monorail system. Its iconic shape is visible from space and has become a global symbol of Dubai's modern identity. Yet, the environmental toll has been significant. Coral reefs were damaged, marine life was displaced, and tidal patterns were altered. Experts warn that the islands are susceptible to erosion and rising sea levels, raising questions about their long-term viability. The Palm Islands reflect humanity's capacity for audacity and creativity, but they also highlight the fragile balance between ambition and sustainability. The Netherlands winning the war against water. The Netherlands, with over a quarter of its land below sea level, has been engaged in a centuries-long battle against the sea. This fight gave rise to innovations like windmills, polders, and dikes, which have allowed the Dutch to reclaim land and expand their territory. The Delta Works, completed in 1997, is the crown jewel of these efforts. Dubbed one of the seven wonders of the modern world, it consists of 13 structures, including storm surge barriers, sluices, and dams. The Maeslankering, a massive movable barrier, protects Rotterdam, one of Europe's busiest ports, from storm surges. Each arm of the barrier is as long as the Eiffel Tower, and it can close within 30 minutes to block the North Sea. These projects not only safeguard lives, but also create valuable land for agriculture and urban development. Over 7,000 square kilometers of the Netherlands were reclaimed through these efforts, providing homes for millions. Today, the Dutch are exporting their expertise worldwide, helping countries like Bangladesh and Vietnam address their own flooding challenges. The Netherlands' story is one of resilience, showcasing how technology can transform adversity into opportunity. China's South North Water Transfer Project China's South North Water Transfer Project is an unparalleled engineering endeavor addressing one of the country's most pressing challenges, water scarcity. With 45% of China's population and 64% of its farmland in the arid north, yet 80% of its water resources in the south, a solution was critical. The project, launched in 2002, aims to transfer 44.8 billion cubic meters of water annually via three routes, the Eastern Route, the Central Route, and the planned Western Route. The Eastern Route uses canals and pipelines to transfer water from the Yangtze River to northern provinces, while the Central Route involves a 1-400-kilometer canal stretching from the Danjianka Reservoir to Beijing. These routes have already alleviated water shortages in cities like Beijing and Tianjin, ensuring a stable water supply for millions of residents. But the cost is staggering, exceeding $80 billion to date. Environmentalists warn of disrupted ecosystems, and over 300,000 people have been displaced to make way for reservoirs and canals. Despite the challenges, the project is a bold attempt to solve a critical issue that many countries will face in the coming decades. As water scarcity grows globally, the world is closely watching to see whether China's approach can be replicated or improved upon. While these projects showcase human ingenuity, they also spark fierce debates. When we reshape the earth, what are the long-term consequences? Millions of people have been uprooted to make way for dams, canals, and islands. Can we justify such sacrifices for the greater good? From submerged ecosystems to altered weather patterns, terraforming often leaves scars on the planet. Are we creating problems faster than we can solve them? Who decides which projects are worth pursuing? And who bears the costs when things go wrong? These questions linger as we continue to reshape the Earth on an unprecedented scale. As technology advances, so do the possibilities of terraforming Earth. New materials, air-driven planning, and renewable energy sources could make projects more sustainable. But the future depends on the choices we make today. Will we learn from past mistakes? Will we prioritize sustainability over short-term gains?